I would have done anything for you. And I know you found your reasons to move on and not look back. Now, I know you don't miss me, and the scenarios and memories are faded to the point that I'm almost gone. I know I'm slowly becoming nothing. I won't even exist in your head soon. But I always try my best for you. And I changed myself so many times. Because I thought it was love, but it was hate for myself. Everyone thinks don't forget to die is about suicide or homicide. But it's really about killing the version of yourself that you don't want to see in the mirror. Or the version of yourself you don't want to feel like anymore. But I would say love is war is a bit more clear. It explains more so who I've become. And it explains why I believe the loser of love is just a numb person. That is scared to feel again. I don't advise anyone to become numb. I believe the ability to feel is fascinating in itself and that's what it means to be human. You sit with those emotions and no matter how intense they become, they cannot kill you. No matter how intense they become, you're in control of your arms and legs and face. Meditation is not to get rid of emotions, it's to feel them and accept them. I learned a lot in my time away. I learned who I can be. I gained my way back. I marked my body with reminders. I found passion in something. Prior to this, I consumed myself with only your favorite things. And I'll never forget you, but I do hope you forget me. And I hope this is as easy for you as it seems. I, I got to watch you grow up. And you are doing a great job. I guess I'm just not ashamed to tell people how much I miss you. And this is uh, no script. Uh, I'm doing what I do best, you know. I'm genuinely just talking right now. But I do hope that everyone enjoys Love is War. And I hope that you understand.